Hey, to my boxing fans, why did Lopez Teofimo Lopez lose? Why did he lose? Because he was aggressively looking for the knockout. When you aggressively look for the knockout in boxing, you leave yourself wide open to a counter. And man, did you see the first round? Teofimo Lopez came out guns blazing against Cambosa. It was so bad. He almost had it. He almost had it at one point. Oh, what's up, my window? He almost had it at one point here and there. Not maybe a knockout, but he was wobbling Cambosa. And he had a flash knockdown when Cambo when Cambosa hit him with the overhand right. He he hit him with an overhand right. Um, and it was a flash knockdown, which means that it wasn't gonna put him out for the count, but he was never the same fighter after that knockdown in the first round. After Teofimo Lopez was knocked down in the first round. He was never ever the same fighter. And one reason why it's important to have a good coach in the corner is for the game plan. And Teofimo Lopez, his father, they didn't adjust to what happened. They they, they kept moving forward. They, they fought the same style of fight that they typically fight and they could not adjust to what happened. They couldn't adjust to being knocked down. They couldn't adjust to how Cambosa was fighting. I thought from the very beginning that this was a bad matchup for Teofimo Lopez. Just the style that Cambosa usually fights in, it wasn't a good matchup. And Cambosa, he came he came with it, he came to fight. It was, um, it was a humbling experience for Teofimo Lopez. I know everyone thinks he's brash. He does backflips after every victory and he didn't get to do his backflip because he lost this fight. Another reason why he lost a lot of fan base is because he he said he won the fight after after the fight after he was really bruised and beat up he he grabbed the mic when Camboso was being interviewed and he said um he thought he won the fight and he clearly did not win the fight. I don't know what world they're living in. I don't know what he's thinking. Maybe maybe his father was just saying to him over and over you're winning the fight you're winning the fight and that's another that's another reason why you need a good corner man you need a good coach is to tell you reality because Teofimo senior i mean Teofimo's father lopez senior was just saying over and over again you're winning the you're winning the fight you're winning the fight so if, if you're a fighter and you're and you're in there and you think you're winning the fight you're not going to adjust right um, in order for you to adjust, you have to know that you're losing. You have to know what's actually going on. You have to know that you're down on points. But if you think you're up on point and you think you're you're winning the fight, you're not going to adjust. It was a great fight. It was um, one of the classic battles you're going to see out there. Classic upsets. He was a 13 to 1 underdog. Cambosa was a 13 to 1 underdog. He came with it. He gained new fans. Um, my hat is off to him. Great fight. Loved it. Um, that's what boxing's all about. But if you're wondering, just to wrap this all up, if you're wondering why Teofimo lost, it's because he couldn't adjust, and it's because he was looking for the knockout in the first round, guns blazing. When you come out like that, you leave yourself wide open for a knockout, and he was knocked down in the first round. And... That's all she wrote. So remember, um, those two those two points on why he lost is because he was looking for a knockout. Um, le he left himself wide open. And after the knockout, Teofimo Lopez could not adjust. He just, he just couldn't adjust to what was happening. All right? Love you guys. Eat healthy. Be healthy. You know. Wait. Yeah. Eat healthy. Be healthy. Sleep well. Live well. Because what you eat is how you feel your body. And how you sleep is how you recharge your battery. Eat healthy, be healthy, sleep well, live well.